Hi, Shuram. Welcome to EduCup. Today we are with new video from Grade 8 Science. This is Unit 9, Human Organ Systems. Our first subtopic is Human Excretory System and Excretory Products. The biological processes that take place within the cells produce different products that are useful to the body as well as useless to the body. You can see some biological process which happens inside our body. An example, let us consider the respiration reaction. In respiration, glucose reacts with oxygen and produce energy, carbon dioxide and water. Energy is used for biological processes in the body. But carbon dioxide and water may become harmful to cells when there is an excess amount. Carbon dioxide and water will be harmful when there is an excess amount. That's why I have shown you may be harmful there. Energy is useful. Okay, I think you can see some... Uh, harmful effects which happens in our body uh, when uh, they have the excess amount of uh, extracted products. Let's see what is the extracted product. The useless products that are produced during chemical reaction within the cells are known as excreted products. Let's observe that the excreted products in human body exhaled air there are carbon dioxide and water, sweat, urea, uric acid, water and salt are present. Urine, urea, uric acid, water and salt are present. Extracted products can damage the cells when accumulate in excess amount. Some products may be toxic. Therefore, it is very important to remove the extracted products from the body. The process that removes the excreted products from the body is known as excretion. What do you mean by excretion? The process that removes the excreted products from the body. Waste matter remaining after food has been digested is known as feces. The last result of the food we take inside the body. As it is not produced by chemical reaction, it is not produced by chemical reaction within the cells in digestive system. It is not considered as exterior product. So we don't uh, take pieces as exterior products. There are organs and systems that are specialized to perform the function of excretion in human body. Let's see some of Extractive organs, lungs, kidneys, skin, liver. Lungs, kidneys and skin are the extractive organs which you have to learn in grade 9. I have tabulated with extractive product, uh, extractive organ and forms they are extracted. First one, lungs. Products are carbon dioxide and water. is extracted as Excelled air. In kidneys, urea, uric acid, salt, and water are the products excreted as urine. Skin, a little amount of urea, uric acid, salt, and water can be seen as the products excreted as the sweat. So, we are gonna discuss about human urinary system. During the chemical reaction within take place in human cells, nitrogenous byproducts are produced. These nitrogenous byproducts are excreted from the body through the kidneys as urine. Therefore, urinary system considered as the main nitrogenous excretory system of human body. Let's identify the parts of human urinary system. These are the parts of urinary system. You can see right kidney, left kidney, renal veins, ureter, bladder, urethra, 
like that parts in human urinary system. Urinary system consists of four main parts, kidneys, urethra, bladder and urethra. Kidneys, urethra, bladder and urethra. As shown figure, place your hands on the hips, then the tips of thumbs given and the indication of the location of the lower end of the kidneys. Kidney tissues reside against the back muscle in upper adnormal cavity. The sit opposite each other on either side of the spine. The right kidney is little bit lower than the left kidney to accommodate the liver. In adult, each kidney is about 30 cm long and 6 cm wide. Kidneys are bean shaped organs. You can get an idea about the external feature of the kidney by using uh, this observing this picture. The renal artery supply blood into the kidney, while the renal vein carries away the blood from the kidney. Let's study about the internal structure of the kidney. I have given you a label diagram of human kidney. Can you see renal artery, renal vein, renal pelvis, urethra, renal cortex, renal medulla are there. A kidney consists of two major parts, cortex and medulla. Renal cortex consists of lots of blood capillaries, therefore it is in dark color. Within the renal medulla, there are triangular shaped structures called renal pyramids. The tips of these renal pyramids are directed to the renal pelvis. The renal pelvis narrows and opens into the upper and upper end of the ureter. Blood with exterior products transported by the renal arteries is filtered in the kidneys. The filtered exterior products are carried by the ureter to the bladder and they are temporarily stored in the bladder. The fluid with exterior products is known as urine. Let's see the components of urine. Water, salt, more sodium chloride is there, urea and uric acid. When the bladder is full, a person urinates through the urethra to illuminate the waste. If the kidneys are damaged, the process of excretion does not, does not happen the way they should. Some example of kidney diseases and the reasons I we are going to discuss. Let's see the kidney diseases and the reason. First one is kidney stones. Salts such as calcium oxalate deposited kidneys and forms crystalline structures. The, these structures are known as kidney stones. Kidney stones may occur due to following reasons. Not drinking enough water, taking salty diets regularly, not passing urine at proper time when wanted. Next disease is kidney failure. Functioning of kidneys get disordered and it is called kidney failure. Kidney failure may occur due to following reasons. Entering of heavy metals and toxic chemical into the body. Suffering from diabetes for a long time, using drugs for a long time, pe time period for certain diseases, smoking and consuming alcohol. Next one is kidney infection. The ureter can be infected by a microorganism and it is may cause kidney damage. Exterior processes should be carried out efficiently in the body. For this purpose, maintaining healthy 
kidneys is very important. Following exam, some tips that should be considered to maintain healthy kidneys. Let's see what are they. Drinking enough pure water daily limits consuming too much salty and so food like pickle, lime pickle food and vinegar. Quite smoking and consuming alcohol. There is a risk of kidney failure for the person who are suffering from diabetes. Therefore, it is important to control blood sugar level. If a person takes medication regularly over for a long time, he should take them to the prescribed dosage by physician and should have regularly tests to the check kidney functions. One should concern about the cleanliness of surrounding area of urethra because this area can be infected very easily. This is what we have to learn as the exterior uh, human urinary system in our human organ systems lesson. Let's meet with our next human body system, the nerve system. Till then, thank you.